Mm. I think at 13, people say, well, that's an awkward age. Yeah. The kind yeah. of teenage years, puberty. You know, a lot of teenagers say, I started feeling self-conscious about my body. But this was a lot more for you. So, what did you see when you looked in that mirror that we can't see or didn't see? Um, it's hard to describe. Um, a word I could probably use, I just disgust. Really? Yeah, disgust. Yeah. You see, in a way, you know, a lot of a lot of people are like this. Maybe women more so. Maybe I don't know. But you know, I've got to listen to you and the usual things that you'll talk about and say, "Oh, I can't stand this. I can't stand that." But when this beautiful girl looks in the mirror, it really surprised me. So you weren't talking about your bottom. You weren't talking about your thighs. You weren't talking your about nose. things. Things that you know might be obvious to a lot of people you were talking about this beautiful face that you have and yet it wasn't to you how do you learn to love yourself i'm still trying to figure that out now um it's it's really hard in a sense um i feel like i have to try and combat negative thoughts mm. that come into my mind and you know try to overpower it because if you let them take over you it just it can be really devastating but you so. needed help to do that yeah, didn't you I, did. I mean i think I you, did. you eventually recognized that this wasn't normal uh, yeah. you know you were told once oh it's to do with you know it's your periods it's your hormones but eventually you found a gp who was who's sympathetic and they yeah. referred you exactly um, so what kind of treatment did you have um, i had cognitive behavioral therapy so what that um, was was that weekly i'd go and have sessions and my therapist would give me certain strategies to practice so that I could stop certain safety behaviours that mm. I did or that I had. Mm. Um, so it was like I had to combat certain fears that I had each week. I had to kind of like test myself um, and keep on doing it mm. so that eventually I'd break out of these safety behaviours. 